young centers entering the NHL sort of learn when to shoot, when to pass. I mean, Jack went through that process a lot, you know, with starting to shoot. For you, I mean, how, how are you balancing that, you know, now that you have as much experience as you do? Because your shot is obviously a weapon that can be extremely useful. Yeah. Um, that's actually funny. I was thinking about that for a while today. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think sometimes for centers, it, it can vary so much from game to game. Like, there's times where uh, you're going to get the puck in the neutral zone and be able to carry it. really depends on who you're playing and how much they're going to pressure. But, um, yeah, then there's times where you're going to have a guy come right at you and you're going to have to move it up. And uh, I think for me, that's, that's the base thing. Just just read the play and make the right play. I think the sh when the shot is there, take it. And um, when the kick out or the, the bump off is, is there, take it, I think, especially – Playing with Vinny and Skinny, they're both obviously in different ways, but um, they're both really good on the rush. Obviously, Skinny can hold guys off and do some crazy stuff that not a lot of guys can do, and Vinny's just flying around and stops on a dime. So um, I think more so depends on, on game to game, and then uh, something that I want to get better at myself is just, just finding shots in, in the O-zone versus on the rush. I think I, I get all my shots on the rush for a high majority of them. So... Finding more shots from from out from ozone play and and then going from there. Would you like the Rochester two seasons ago? Was that maybe the turning point in your career that you you know you went there and you embraced it and you seem to be a lot better for the experience? Yeah, I think. I mean, it was a hard hard time for me. I think hard. It was a hard start to the year, and um, I was I called my dad on the way down, and uh, he said, "Well, you can go down there and." Uh, you can be cranky and complain the whole time, and or you can go down there and have a good attitude. And then hung up with him, and five minutes later, Tails called me, and Tails said the same exact thing. So um, I think that that point kind of hit me, right? You you gotta you gotta learn, and you gotta grow up. And um, I was just talking to Donnie outside about Turks. Obviously, I mean he's had a great camp, and he's he's younger than me, but uh, I hope he doesn't view it as as a bad thing, and he goes down and, and plays well because he's gonna be here for a long time. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, he's going to have a lot of opportunity, I would guess. Obviously, I'm not the coach, but um, he's going to have a lot of opportunity. He's going to play a lot. and um, Just go down and play, find find the time. And um, I think the biggest thing you learn is, like, especially in, in the NHL, is so chaotic. Like, guys are flying almost more, more than in the NHL. So go down there, and you have so little time to make plays, and then you come up here and uh, you kind of realize that you can settle down a little bit. It really helps really helps your game, even with all the little plays coming out of the D zone and um, in the offensive zone, things like that. What have you learned about Vinny playing with him now for oh, two or three games? Yeah, I mean, he's a great he's a great guy. Uh, we got, to, got, got along pretty well uh, off the ice, and I think that usually leads to some good chemistry. So, um, I don't know. I always like playing with small righties for some reason, and uh, he's just flying around out there. He's super good on the forecheck, makes really good plays with the puck, and um, yeah, it's been great so far. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to getting going here. Late last season when you were facing the other teams, you know, top centers, what did, how did you really use those lessons, particularly when it came to the defensive side of, of things? You know, how did that really help you improve in that area? Because there, is, there are so many nuances you have to pay attention to. Yeah, I think... To, uh, I don't know, I guess more so than anything, you just learn fast, and if you don't learn, then they're going to chew you up. So um, I think I played against Bergeron so many times whenever we played against Boston. I, they always wanted that matchup, or at home we wanted that matchup, whatever it may be. Um, just every time I looked up, there he was. It's, it's crazy. It's honestly crazy. I don't know if people realize how good he is, but um, I think that gave me a huge appreciation for him. I started watching him a ton, and... Um, you just see he's always in the right spot and, and try to take little things like that out of, out of someone's game like that. It's It was one of the craziest things I've seen, honestly, since I turned pro. But, um, yeah, I try to take little things like that off each guy, and obviously I took, try to take quite a bit from him. But um, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing, learn fast and, and adapt. How much more ready did you just feel for those matchups you know, late last season compared to when you were first getting into the league and you would have to face an idiot Boston when they're looking for that matchup, perhaps? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you feel more ready. I think you just go out and just play. I mean, 
like I said, if you're going to hesitate or you're going to sit back, they're, they're going to chew you up, especially with that line. And um, Yeah, just go all play. Trust your reads and, and don't look back. You make a mistake, move on, and um, go win the next shift. Are you amazed when you think back in you know, two years, this, this, the growth you've gone through with where you were barely you know, two years ago and where you are today? Can change uh, honestly, no. Um, <laughs> I think I had some hard times, but um, had a lot of hard times growing up. I mean, not hard times growing up, but hockey-wise, I was all really good when I was young and then not so good for a while and then got really good towards draft year and things like that. So I've seen the ups and downs and been through it and uh, never stopped believing in myself. And I'm just going to keep coming and, and working hard and trying to get better. Don has talked a lot about confidence, needing it to play as aggressively as he wants to play. Um, what's your sense as a team of where you guys are from a confidence standpoint with, I guess, the opener's two days away now? Yeah, I think we're, we're a confident group for sure. Um, we've got such a close group in there. I think more so than anything, everyone's just playing free. Like, you know that if you're going to make a mistake, the guys are going to back you up. And... Um, or if I make a mistake, Vinny's going to back check, Skinny's going to back check, and, and vice versa. So I think that's the biggest thing, just playing free and, and going out there, having fun, using your line mates, and, and just enjoying your time together and trying to make some plays. What, what's it like for you playing with Jeff? Like, is there some personal connection that you guys have off the ice that helps you? And, and do you feel a little bit of pressure to try to get Jeff back to the level that he has shown in this league? Um. I don't feel pressure, no. Um, I mean, I've seen what he can do, so I, for me, it's exciting to play with him. Um, even st so far in camp, like he's seen some of these plays and scores some absolutely crazy goals, and like I just chip the puck to him and I get a free point. It's pretty crazy. So, um, no, but I, I don't think pressure. No, he's gonna go play. He plays hard. He's a competitive guy. I think. I think people don't give enough credit for how competitive he is. I know that it was some hard times for him, but and uh, on the other side of that, yeah, I think, I mean, I think if you're good friends with someone, you're always going to play better with them. Being close with someone, you can say anything you want to them. I'm, I'm less scared to make a mistake with Skinny versus someone else, maybe something like that. Um, I don't know if that's that's the right way to put it, but yeah, I think being good friends and, and I mean, me and him hang out a ton and talk a ton, so uh, I think that helps for sure. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.